If it had been up to Margaret Mitchell, Gone with the Wind may never have made it out from underneath her mattress. In 1926, Mitchell began writing the epic story while laid up with an ankle injury. She wrote the last chapter first and then labored for three years on other parts of the book. Convinced the novel was lousy, Margaret never bothered to write the first chapter. Chunks of the unfinished manuscript were hidden between mattresses, under the sofa, and could even be found propping up a wobbly table. When publisher Harold Latham came to Atlanta searching for new writers, Mitchell's friends convinced her to show him the unfinished work. Latham fell in love with Gone with the Wind, but insisted she change the name of the lead character from Pansy O'Hara to Scarlet. Mitchell was awarded a Pulitzer Prize in 1937, and the rest, as they say, is history.